Looking for a getaway on the East Coast? You might be surprised to hear you should consider Atlantic City in New Jersey. If you thought AC was dead, think again. It's in its comeback era. For real this time. I had the opportunity to embark on a press trip to this historic city and it was an experience to remember. Truly. There were so many things to eat, see, and do. My name is Erin and I'm a professional photographer and content creator based out of New York City. And I'm going to share what I did and where I went during my most recent trip back to Atlantic City. This beachside town has a ton of history, as do many places in New Jersey, since it's one of the first 13 colonies in the United States. If you've watched the HBO show Boardwalk Empire, it's about Atlantic City during the Prohibition era. I'm a native Jersey girl, and growing up I didn't enjoy spending much time in my home state. As I get older, I'm starting to see more of the beauty of the Garden State, but I have to say I'm a New Yorker at heart, and I love my life there. But really, on this trip I was thoroughly impressed. Let's be real, Atlantic City's reputation isn't the greatest. Years of corruption and bankruptcy have left AC in tatters. That sentiment came out in full force when I posted my videos that went viral on Instagram and TikTok, and some of the comments were pretty nasty. Some called me a liar, and one even compared my press trip coverage to the Sheen debacle. How you can equate things to eat and do the same as fast fashion, sweatshops, and their environmental impacts is beyond me. I showed and listed a ton of stuff you could eat, see, and do, but there was a hyperfixation on the boardwalk, especially at night for whatever reason. I couldn't help but wonder what was the driving force behind it. I'm not going to spell it out, but if you can read in between the lines, then there you go. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to talk about why I think AC is finally getting back on track. The weather wasn't the greatest when I was there. It was cloudy and rainy at times, and then would become super sunny later on. But I spent most of my time indoors, so it wasn't much of an issue. Now, how do you get to Atlantic City? There are multiple transportation options available. Whether you prefer driving or utilizing public transportation, reaching this coastal gem is convenient. For anyone located in the tri-state area, Atlantic City is only an hour away by car from Philadelphia and three hours from New York City, making it an easily accessible destination for a weekend getaway. There's also a rail service provided by NJ Transit and the terminal is located near the Atlantic City Convention Center. If you're flying in, the Atlantic City International Airport is just 12 miles outside the city. Once you've arrived and want to figure out how to get around, walking is an option, but keep in mind that some resorts can be far apart, even if they look close. Not only that, but something to be wary of, even with all the new money flowing in, are the petty crimes. Ride shares are a common way to get around, but on this trip, the Visit Atlantic City team reserved a private jitney to shuttle my group around town. I thought it was so cute. The Jitney Association consists of almost 200 individual vehicles that operate all day, every day, ensuring you can easily get from one place to another. So where should you stay? There are a lot of options when making accommodation considerations, but I'm going to go over some of the luxury hotels. On this press trip, I stayed at the newly renovated MGM Tower in the Borgata, which is an MGM property. The resort recently completed a $55 million remodel and rebranding of the Water Club Tower to the MGM Tower. I know, real original with the naming. <laughs> but the rooms are brand spanking new. For a luxury Atlantic City getaway experience, staying here is a must. Every room is designed to create the best experience from the furniture and decor to the amenities. Another option is Caesar. This iconic hotel brand recently invested 400 million into its Atlantic City experience, which includes upgrades to its rooms and amenities. Whether you're looking for a standard room or a luxurious suite, Caesar's Atlantic City offers a variety of room types to accommodate different budgets and preferences. As part of the media trip, I got to take an exclusive tour of their product offerings, like these beautiful suites. Some are only available to high rollers. One can dream though, right? Ocean Casino Resort also recently invested $85 million to update its property, which includes over 400 new rooms and suites across 10 new floors. I also got an exclusive tour of their high roller rooms, and just wow. Some of these suites are insane, and you can't book them unless you lose a few hundred grand a day. That's chump change, am I right? The resort boasts a wide range of dining options, including upscale restaurants and casual eateries. Indulge in the on-site amenities like the luxurious XL Spa and Bathhouse, Premier Gaming, or partying it up at the Beach Club HQ2. Okay, now we're getting to the meat of the video. Here are a bunch of suggestions of what you can do during your time in Atlantic City. To start off, and this is apparently a controversial take as I learned from my viral social media posts, no visit to Atlantic City is complete without a stroll along the legendary boardwalk. As the first boardwalk in the United States, it holds a special place in American history. Construction on the boardwalk began in 1870, and since then, it has become an iconic symbol of Atlantic City. On a nice day, take in the sea breeze and see the stunning ocean vistas. While you're on the boardwalk, stop by Steel Pier for some games and rides, like the fourth highest Ferris wheel in the US. First opened in 1898, this historic landmark has brought delight to visitors for generations. Today, the pier offers a plethora of amusements, thrilling rides, and games of chance for all ages. There's even a new spinning coaster that's being built and going to be opened in 2024. Next is Spiegel World's The Hook. Spiegel World is an entertainment company renowned for its incredible adult-only shows. 
The Hook is their latest creation, housed within the beautiful and historic former Warner Theater. If you haven't seen any of their other shows in Las Vegas, prepare to be dazzled by this amazing show. This unique experience is exclusive to Atlantic City as the show incorporates the history of the town into the performance. The cast features international performers and is directed by one of Britain's leading comedy directors. I didn't get a chance to actually see the show because it was a week out from opening day. But if you get to see it, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of it. For some family fun specifically, the once shuttered showboat has reopened and offers Island Water Park and Lucky Snake Arcade. Bought by Bart Blatstein, who I got to meet during this trip, Showboat is one of the hotels in Atlantic City that no longer has a casino. I think it's a smart move because one of the chief complaints I saw was the fact that AC opened up to gambling, and many blame that for the city's demise. Island Water Park boasts the largest indoor water park and beachfront as a 120,000 square foot attraction, guaranteeing a fun destination all year round. Island Water Park includes numerous slides, a lazy river, epic surfing on a flow rider, an adult only section, and more. On the other part of the first floor, there's also the adrenaline pumping Lunky Snake Arcade. Spanning 60,000 square feet, they boast over 300 arcade games and a racetrack for indoor go karting. This was my first time ever go karting, and as I zoomed around the track, I couldn't help but feel like a true speed demon. Pro tip wear comfortable clothing like pants and closed toe shoes for maximum enjoyment. When the sun sets, Atlantic City comes alive with its nightlife, and Nola's Bar and Lounge is at the heart of the action. Located on the casino floor of Ocean Casino Resort, this venue hosts local NJ talent and is perfect for music lovers and cocktail enthusiasts to jam out with the artists performing. This type of spot isn't really my scene, but I feel like lots of people like this kind of live music venue. This is more my scene. It's not a trip to Atlantic City without a night at one of the clubs. Prepare yourself for a night of opulence and glamour at Premier Nightclub in Borgata. This establishment offers a fun nightlife experience because top name industry DJs always perform here. When I was at Premier for this press trip, the DJs of the summer, Loud Luxury, were performing. Funny enough, I was planning on photographing their concert at Brooklyn Mirage, but it worked out that I got to see them here instead. From the moment you enter, get ready to dance the night away. Off the Boardwalk Casino area, there's Little Water Distillery, a local gem. I gotta say, Americans love their booze. When I went on another press trip to Rui Doso, most of our tour centered around the spirits industry too. Little Water Distillery hosts cocktail tastings and explains the distilling process to the variety of spirits they make. If you're a fan of chocolate or espresso martini, definitely get one here. As you can see, there's a ton to do. Now, let's get into some places you can eat or grab drinks. I was surprised at all the food options because there were a ton. I am hands down a breakfast girly. Start your day with a hearty meal at Hash Hash A Go Go inside Tropicana, Atlantic City. This popular eatery brings its unique twisted farm food concept from Indiana to New Jersey with ginormous, emphasis on ginormous, portions of food like flapjacks, omelets, burgers, sandwiches, and more. For a fancier brunch experience, head to Harper's at Ocean Casino Resort. Voted the best breakfast by Casino Player Magazine, this premier establishment has a bunch of delectable brunch options. If you have a sweet tooth, definitely order the decadent bourbon sticky bun for the table. If you're craving an Italian-American twist in the local scene, Rhythm and Spirits is the place to be. Their menu features an array of cocktails and food like pasta, pizza, and sandwiches. They also have a partnership with their neighbor, Bar 32, and offer up fun chocolate-infused eats, too. For lunch, experience a chill beer garden-style venue at The Yard, located inside Bally's. This spot offers gastropub comfort food with beer from local and national brewers. Sit in the lounge-style seating and enjoy live entertainment on their indoor or outdoor stages. Good Dog Bar is a recent addition to the city's growing foodie scene. Originally hailing from Philadelphia, this two-story building offers a combination of food and drinks surrounded by adorable pictures of dogs all over the walls. For cocktails specifically, this was so cool. The first venue of its kind in New Jersey. Grab a seat on the 360-degree rotating floor of Carousel Bar inside Bally's while sipping on fun cocktails. Yes, the floor actually turns, but no, you won't get sick while enjoying your drink. The Carousel Bar is a must-visit for cocktail enthusiasts. Recently reopened, the Old Homestead Steakhouse is the second location of one of the oldest steakhouses in the country. The original location is in New York City, and the second one can be found in the Brigada. For all you Nobu lovers, one was open in Caesars. Chef Nobu Matsuisa brings his famous dishes like black miso cod to Nobu Atlantic City. This is the only Nobu restaurant on the East Coast offering oceanfront views. Notice I said only Nobu restaurant, not only restaurant. <laughs> now, as someone who eats at many high-end omakase spots, Nobu is like meh to me. It's popular and famous because celebrities go there and people with money like to flex. 
The food is good, don't get me wrong. If you're looking for a dining experience that combines sophistication with a casual ambiance, American Bar and Grill is the perfect choice. Also found in Borgata, this contemporary restaurant is run by chef Aram Mardigan and his team incorporates the Garden State's fresh produce like tomatoes and corn. For a modern take on the classic steakhouse, B Prime is the place to be. Another fine dining restaurant located in Borgata, this contemporary steakhouse guarantees delicious food and possibly one of the best cacio e pepes. Overall, as you can see, Atlantic City is on the upswing and is a destination that offers a diverse range of activities, attraction, and culinary delights. The recent investments and developments have revitalized AC, making it a must-visit destination on the East Coast. Whether you're a history buff exploring the boardwalks, rich past, a thrill seeker enjoying all the amusements and games, or a food lover indulging in delicious meals at celebrity chef restaurants, there is something for everyone. If you found this video insightful, like and subscribe and see you in the next one.